Okay, Boo Geeks and parents, good to see everybody. It's Mr. Drake again, and I've done videos before on different things you can do for letter recognition and stuff like that. Today, we're going to talk about another way to get your fine motor development with your child um, sorted out. So we do a lot of this sort of moment when we're drawing, when we are printing, when we are cutting with scissors, and um, sometimes this muscle here needs to be strengthened a lot and it needs to get much stronger. And also this sort of twisting motion is good for kids to kind of get their muscles working in their hands and things like that. So there's a whole bunch of different um, fine motor stuff we did this year and in previous years at school. I've got Lila here next to me. She's in kindergarten, so she's a good age for you guys for comparison. But I find kids get tired of cutting and um, printing all the time, but they still need their hands strengthened. So I'm going to show you something that I had a couple students that just loved in the past because it makes them feel like they're like their parents and they're going to be doing some actual proper work. So here I have a board and in my board I have shapes and they have um, just regular these ones are little metal screws. Usually I use deck screws, but something like an inch or so. These ones have the little square Robertson ends. You can get little star Phillips end screws as well. The one I had at school had both. And if you see, this one has shapes. And I also can have one with letters, one with numbers, or one with the kids' names and stuff like that on it. And what we do is we're going to pick something that we want the child to recognize and then they are going to put in or take out the screws from that particular one. So like you see, the screws aren't here right now. So I am going to have Lila put screws in the triangles. Which one's a triangle? Good show. And how many sides does a triangle have? So we could even count the screws for the corners. How many corners does it have, Lila? Um, three. Good girl. So she's going to do that. And look, you can use one hand, two hands, and it's going to increase her, her hand strength. It's going to increase her recognition of stuff. And this is a really, really long screwdriver. I wouldn't normally give kids this one right away because it takes a little bit more power to use. I usually have little stubbies. Um, oh, you're being melodramatic now. Oh, you did hit kind of a bit of a knot of wood, didn't you? So let's, you can use both hands and twist it this way. Good show, good show. And the more they do it, the uh, easier it becomes. So I'll move this up so you can see me again. One thing I often do is just take like a cordless screwdriver and drill in, drill out, drill in, drill out when they're first starting. Lila's done this sort of thing before, but it's been a while, so she, and this is freshly screwed in. That's good enough, honey. And so it's going to be a little bit harder, but see, she can still do it. And this is a break from drawing, coloring, and printing. And I had a couple of little boys in the past and a little girl in the past that wanted to sit in the garage next to their dad while he was doing carpentry. And that way they felt like they were doing real work with their screwdrivers too. So I will show you guys, hopefully before too long, some other ones. But for fine motor for now, for this week at least, this is something that you could try at home. All you need is some sort of marker, some screws, a piece of wood. I have here the ugliest piece of two by six in Western Canada, I'm sure of it. Um, at, I know Miss Chelsea's class, they had this too last year. She had hers all beautiful and painted and colored. And mine was just, it's just wood. So anyhow, it says maybe something about our personalities if you do it that way. Anyhow, um, I just wanted to say too, before I go, thank you to everyone who came out to see us, all the Chief Old Sun staff last Wednesday. And, and uh, waved and made signs and all that sort of stuff. We miss you guys. We love you guys. It was awesome to see you all. And um, hopefully... We will meet again and everybody will be safe and healthy um, before too long. If not before, then certainly for next September. Um, so, um, how's Lily doing here? Oh, we just about got one triangle all done. Good job, give me five. Yeah! All right. So that's my video for today. Bye-bye, uh, all of you.
Lila, can you say bye? We'll take a pause from that for a moment. Good afternoon. Good. Good, good black foot. That's awesome. Okay.